Hi there, it's John Bice with eXp Real Estate in the Florida for Boomers Network. Hey, today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of our 55 plus communities that we have in this area. Now, we have several to choose from. We have 55 plus and we have active adults. And I'm going to talk to you about some of the pros and the cons of the 55 pluses. Active adult, I get that question all the time. What does that mean? Non-age restricted but primarily geared towards baby boomers and professionals. Uh, they don't tend to build playgrounds and basketball courts and things like that. They aren't age restricted. You could have a family living next to you, but most of the time it'll be geared towards the baby boomers. But let's talk about 55 pluses. And oh, by the way, if you're finding me here on YouTube, and you're looking for information about relocating to the Sarasota Lakewood Ranch Parish, North River Ranch area, hit the subscription bell or the subscription button and the notification bell. And we put out information two to three times a week about living here, playing here, best beaches here, best communities here, gated communities, golfing communities. We have a video about just about everything. So today we're going to focus on the Dell Webb that's located in Lakewood Ranch. We do have one in Parrish. Like I said, it's about 15 minutes away from this particular Dell Webb. We are going to have a second Dell Webb located up here on State Road 64. I'm not exactly sure. They haven't even broken ground yet on that one, but they are going to have another one. But looking at the Dell Webb that's located right here, Boom. right in this area right here, this whole thing. It's about 1,200 homes. The community is about eight years old now. I've uh, started selling in there in the very first part of the Dell Webb community. Um, we've sold 32 homes in there. It's beautiful. I'm going to show you the clubhouse here in a minute, but we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in this style of community. I would say one of the pros and some of my pros are also going to be cons. Some of the pros are it's 55 plus. So you're not going to have teenagers screaming up and down the street in cars. You're not going to have a lot, a lot of bikes riding up and down and around. Um, you're going to have quiet, quiet out of the pool. Um, it's that type of lifestyle. Um, it's a gated community, definitely a plus. <clears throat> In this particular Dell Web, it's manned during the day, man or woman, guarded during the day, live person from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then at night, it's the push button system to get in. I've never lived in a gated community here, but to a lot of people coming here, that seems to be a very, very important thing that they want a gated community. We live in an area, as I've told you many times in videos, uh, called Palm Air. My house was built in 1983, not gated. It's a country club community. Don't have to belong to the country club, but uh, it is a country club community. <clears throat> so um, gated security, HOA fees. So what do HOA fees cover? Covers that security at the gate covers all of your yard maintenance. I mean, they do everything. They even set the sprinkler systems for you for the reclaimed water that you water your yards with here. It costs like $5 a month to use that. And then use of all their amenities. So what do their amenities look like? Let's take a look at what we've got. So this is the clubhouse. Uh, 23,000 square feet, I think it is. Absolutely beautiful. Just about any activity that you can possibly think of. They have full-time activity director. Um, and when you walk in the front door right here, just to the left, there's a monthly calendar that is just packed with events. And if there's a club that you're interested in forming and they don't have it, I think if you have three or four people that are interested in it, they'll put together the club for you. But they've got everything. They've got people who like to play cards. They've got people who like to walk together, biking clubs, um, 
water volleyball clubs. They, I mean, they've got something for everybody. Tennis courts, pickleball courts, bocce ball courts. Um, let's take a look through what it looks like. So this is, as you first walk in, I, rooms like this, again, for gathering. <clears throat> this table right here is actually, if you want to put together a club, you can uh, make a suggestion. Or if you're looking to get involved in a club, they have them all listed there and you can get involved in one of the clubs. There's that table right there that I was telling you about. Okay. You can usually walk in during the day and there's pl people playing cards. This area right here, huge gathering room. These partition off, by the way, just like this looks right here, that partitions off in case they're having events in there, different events. This is actually a dance floor for like the holidays, like New Year's Eve. They'll have a potluck where everybody brings a dish. They have an in-house band. They've got fireplaces going. They've got the TVs going. It's a good time. Trust me. Workout area. Beautiful. Nicer than the gym that I go to. And uh, from what I hear, the only time it's really crowded is very early in the morning, like six o'clock in the morning. I've taken clients in there in the afternoons and normally looks just like this, like one or two people in there. But uh, very, very nice workout area. They've got locker rooms. They've got an area for um, aerobics, Pilates, yoga. They do have in-house uh, instructors that live there. So um, that helps out to teach classes and everything. This covered area is out by the pool. These are fire pits that go off at night, gas fire pits. It's beautiful. Really, really nice. It's an absolutely beautiful resort style community. And again, your HOA fees cover all of this. So they've got a lap pool for exercising. This is all heated, of course. Those are the fire pits I was telling you about. This is a lagoon style pool. There's a walk-in area right here. It starts very, very shallow and then you just wade in and then they play water volleyball over in that area over there. So this is the restaurant, plenty of places to sit outside and eat. I've eaten there several times. The food is great, full liquor bar. So it's great if you're chilling out by the pool, you want to grab a sandwich or a cold one or whatever, you go in and grab it, take it back outside to one of the tables. Very, very nice. So there's an overview of that whole entire area. And again, this is a very early picture of this particular Dell Webb. There's no new construction in this one being eight years old. This is completely filled in and completely sold out. The restaurant right here. So some more of the pluses and minuses. Those HOA fees at this particular Dell Webb are $409 a month. And as I said, 24-hour gated security, use of all the amenities, and all of your yard work is done for you. So that is a big plus. What do houses look like there? Now, this particular house, um, tile roof. They're all tile roofs in this community. This is one of the more popular floor plans that they had when this was being built. This was called a summer wood at the new Del Webb and Parish, uh, Del Webb Bayview, it's called. This is called a mystique. So it's a two bedroom, two bath with a den, uh, roughly 1800 square feet. You have the option of adding a third bedroom and a third bathroom if you want to. Now these folks just did the third bedroom. And the way they do that, this garage is a full size two car garage, two cars, two SUVs fit in there, but it's a tandem garage. So they're in front of one of those car spaces. There's a area you can either use that for storage, park, parking a golf cart there, or like they did, if you want to add that third bedroom, that's the space that they use to do that. So great option. Can't do it in this community anymore. Uh, because it's built out. <clears throat> but I'll show you what they look like inside. This one's on a beautiful lakefront lot. They added a pool. All of these lots, if you're looking for a resale, are large enough to add a pool. So you can definitely do that. These folks did it when they uh, bought the home. 
So I'm just going to skim through here. So this is what the homes look like. They're great room plans. So if you're a more traditional person where you like a living room and a family room, and a dining area, you're not going to find it in one of these 55 plus communities because they build them all like this. Okay. Family room, kitchen combination, dining area, pocketing sliding glass doors that go to the outside. So just a beautiful, beautiful home. So um, HOA fees, we covered that. It's a very quiet in a 55 plus community because as you can imagine, you have people who are retired, like-minded people. Um, it's not gonna be like living in a community where you have a uh, young family, family living this next door and the kids are splashing in the pool and making a bunch of noise. It's a quiet community. So that's a plus if that's the type of thing you're looking for. Um, pet restrictions. Yes, absolutely. They have them, but it's a very pet friendly community. Tons of dogs in this community. Uh, plenty of areas to walk those dogs. Now, do they have breed restrictions and how many dogs you can have? Yes, they do. Um, you can have a fence in your backyard, but it's the wrought iron type of fence. It's not a privacy fence or anything like that. And they have setbacks to how large you can have that in your backyard. But you can absolutely do a fence in these uh, communities for your dogs. So that's something to think about. Absolutely. Um, you can be as active in these communities as you want to be. Now, I've said they have a full-time activity director. They're going to have a calendar full of things for you to do, but you have to get out and do those things. They're not going to come looking for you to do these things. So you will have people in these communities that are sitting inside. Okay. The, I'm going to say that the average age, and this is not official or anything like that. But I'm going to say the average age in this particular Dell Webb is about 68 years old, somewhere in that vicinity. Now, I've sold to people that are 55 and I've sold to people who are 75 in this particular community. So there's a good variety, but don't be shocked if you find somebody who's 85 that lives in there because it's an over 55 plus community. Um, but as I said, there's a great mix of people in there. And um, again, that's an unofficial number. I'm just telling you the average age of the people that I've sold to in there. So, um, but as I said, you can be as active in one of these communities as you want to be. Some people don't want to be. Some people don't want to be social. But if you want that activity level, it is definitely there. So what are some of the cons of living in these communities? If you're a snowbird, that HOA fee keeps going on. If you're not here for six months of the year, you're still paying $409 a month. You'll know that your yard is being taken care of for sure. But for some people that adds up when you're up north or wherever, and you're still paying $409 a month. So that can actually be a con if you don't want those fees running all year long. A con um, may be the rental restrictions. You can absolutely, the day that you take possession of this property, you can rent it, but they do have restrictions. I'm not completely versed on their exact restrictions. I believe in this Dell Web, you can rent it for 30 days at a time. And I think you can do that three times during the year. Don't quote me on that. I think that's what it is. But they definitely have rent restrictions. There's no weekly rentals. So don't even think you can do that. Um, but you absolutely can. The day after you take possession of the home, you can rent it. More than likely, if you're gonna think about doing something like that, it's gonna be for an annual rental. That's what I would suggest. If you think you're gonna rent these when you're not here, if you're planning on being a snowbird, get that out of your head right now because people are not gonna come here 
and rent these. You can't do Airbnbs, you know, those type of things for weekly, two weeks, three weeks at a time. You can't do it. And people who come here during the summer want to be out on the beach where they can rent for a week or two at a time where they can open the door. The kids can run out to the pool, run out to the beach, do all those things that families do. So, yeah, this is not what you think it will be if you're thinking of renting it during the summer months. Yeah, don't think that because it's not it's not a good idea. So, um, as I said, Age of people can also be a con if you're that really young 55 plus person and you're looking for tons of activity and everything. As I said, there, you know, there's probably there's probably 90 year olds that live in here, but that's what you look at. In Florida, 55 plus used to mean where old people's parents lived. OK, so it's completely shifted. The Dell Webb kind of um, started forming this with the amenity centers, with the um, lifestyle directors, with all of those things. So they kind of changed that whole vibe. When I first started working 55 plus communities, it was more like seriously 75 plus. That's what it was. So, again, you're going to have all ages of people in here, all activity levels in here from very, very active people to people who aren't active at all. So that can be really a plus or a minus. Can people visit? This is both a plus and a minus. Yes, absolutely. People can come and stay with you. There's going to be a restriction on how long they can stay with you. You have to be there. You can't just let family members come and use your house when you're not there. Um, so there are definite restrictions about that that you'll need to check into. Absolutely, grandkids can come and visit you. Um, I believe it's 30 days at a time that they can come. I don't know any grandkids that can come for 30 days because they're in school wherever they live. A con about this, and I've talked about it in other videos, don't think that your family is going to come down here all the time because they're not, Okay. Chances are your kids are still working. Your kids probably still have kids that are in school. And for them to come down, even if they have a free place to stay with you, it's still expensive. So don't get in your head that you need to have this huge three bedroom, three bath with a den, house, pool, all this because your kids are going to come all the time. They're not. I'm telling you, they're not. Now, you may have people that you knew in first grade learn that you live to Florida and that you haven't talked to them since first grade. And they're going to find out and they're going to call you and go, hey, we're coming to Florida. We didn't know you were living there. They're going to do that. So my number one hint to you, don't make your guest rooms too comfortable because your guests are going to want to come and stay and stay and stay. So don't make it comfortable for them and learn the line. Oh, you're coming to Florida. Hey, what I highly recommend for you is Google hotels in Lakewood Ranch. We got a little bit of everything. We got a Marriott. We got this. We got that. If you're that person who likes people in your house, that's great. But that's my advice to you. So back to grandkids, they can absolutely come. Now, a con would be that you have to be at the pool with them. You can't just take them over to the pool and drop them off. So anybody, I believe it's under the age of 18, you have to be there to be with them and there's certain times that they can be at that pool you can't take them over there all day long just wear them out over there so there's uh definite time restrictions on when they can be there so that's some of my pros which are also some of my cons this particular neighborhood dell webb now that it's built out prices are very high to get in there um, when I was first selling this particular model in this neighborhood, now without a pool, this has an amazing lakefront lot, which if I peruse through here real quick, I'll be able to show you. And some of the things you can do in here, which is a definite plus, you know, that people could do when they were building. And you can do in the Dell Web or the Crestwind that we have because they're still building. 
choose your cabinets, choose your countertops. Even this was an upgrade. The lighting was an upgrade. They did the speakers in the ceiling. Surround of sound was an upgrade. Appliances were upgraded. So there were a ton of things. Plank tile flooring was an upgrade. Spectacular house. We've had this on the market for a, about a month now. So gas community, a plus. Okay, let's get over. So I'm going to buzz through all these real quick. So I can show you this back area. There we go. So these are the pocketing doors, which are very popular, very cool, because this whole thing just opens up and this becomes part of your living space this time of year when it's so nice outside. So this lights up at night and goes right out to the pool area. And you can see their lake. And then this is woods on the other side of this. And this is actually uh, a preserve area. So never go away. You can see the space between the houses on this particular home is very nice. Beautiful pool, a little waterfall area. This lights up at night. Yes, this is all screened in. People ask me that from the north. Why do you have that? Well, if you're in a rainy time of the year, you wouldn't be able to go out here because mosquitoes would eat you alive. So this is also an upgrade right here. You can see there's no bars like this. So it's like a panoramic view of the lake area. This, abs this is one of the best lots, I'm telling you, in the Del Webb and Lakewood Ranch. Very, very nice. It's, again, a plus. Okay, so that's a little bit about the house. So those are some pros and cons about living in a 55 plus community. If you're really looking for a 55 plus, it's a definite plus. There's more pluses than minuses, you know. Are there some things that, you know, you may not like the uh, HOA restrictions? You know, you have to ask to plant any plants if you decide to do that or if you decide to put uh, potted plants outside. Um, there's restrictions on what color your house can be. There's restrictions on uh, leaving your car in the driveway. Um, this particular Dell Webb, I don't think you can have a Harley in this particular uh, Dell Webb. So that can be a plus or a minus, you know, loud motorcycles coming in and out. Is that a plus or a minus? Can go either way, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's some of the things that you have to think about. We're here to help you find the exact community that you're looking for and the exact home at the price that you want. As I said, we've sold 32 homes in this particular Dell Web. So we know it very well. Um, if you have uh, or need information about other communities in the area, look me up. I'm on all kinds of social media. And again, if you found me here on uh, YouTube, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I put out these type of videos all the time about information about living in our area. Anything you need to know, I have an answer for any question that you have. So I'm here for you. So I hope to hear from you very, very soon. I uh, would love to help you find a home here in paradise. Okay, take care. God bless. And I hope to talk to you soon.